Bloodborne's Chalice Dungeons are an optional adventure, but one you need to partake in. The dungeons offer new challenges, traps, enemies, and treasure hunting. You'll earn some nice rewards if you're willing to fight and explore your way through these dungeons. Three big items you can receive that you can get in the Chalice Dungeons are the Bone Ash Armor Set, the Madman's Armor Set, and the Beast Claws. In addition to these three items, you can also get higher level gems, runes, high level enchanting materials, and alternate versions of pre-existing weapons that have different blood gem slots. In order to get the Bone Ash Armor Set, you'll have to get through the central Demerian Labyrinth. You'll need to venture past the first layer of the dungeon and into layer 2. Once you've arrived in layer 2, make your way to the boss and defeat the Keeper of the Old Lords, who's wearing the armor you want to acquire. After defeating the Keeper of the Old Lords, you now have the ability to buy this armor from the Insight Store. The armor notably has high physical and fire resist. To acquire the Madman Armor Set, you'll need to acquire the Hintertomb Chalice, which is in the central Thumerian Chalice Dungeon, in a coffin found on Layer 2. Once you've acquired the Hintertomb Chalice, make your way through it and acquire the Lower Hintertomb Chalice from the last boss in that dungeon. Once you've gotten the Lower Hintertomb Chalice Dungeon, you'll need to fight your way through until you get to the second layer's boss. The boss is the Forgotten Madman, and again, he's wearing the armor you want to acquire. Be careful though, as when the Forgotten Madman gets to about 50% health, his escort will come to his aid. So now you'll have to deal with two hunters instead of just one. After defeating them, you now have the ability to buy the Madman's armor in the Insight Store. The Madman's armor set seems to have good arcane, bolt, and fire resist. If you want to unleash your bestial instincts, you'll need to find the Beast Claws. The Beast Claws will be found in a coffin in the Aelin Lorne Chalice Dungeon on Layer 2. The claws are unique because when you use its alternate form, you're not only gaining a giant beast hand as part of the weapon, you'll also be emitting a yellow haze from your body as well. The Beast Claws basically give you the buff you would get if you ate a beast pellet, except it's never ending. The interesting thing about the Beast Claws is that as you do damage, you'll start filling a meter up that appears to have a beast head insignia next to it. You'll gain a fair bit of damage if you can continue to keep that meter up. I gained about roughly 150 physical damage when my meter was up. I've gotten the meter to 100% in a semi-unrealistic situation, but it ended up not doing anything special. So unless I'm missing an item in the game, there isn't really an actual transformation, outside of what we're already seeing. At the time, I was also using the two beast runes you can acquire in the game as well. We'll have to see with further investigation if you can become a beast or not. I've also heard lowering your insight helps build the meter faster. Chalice Dungeons also offer high level gems that you can find that you can't find in the story portion, as well as alternate weapons for you to hunt for. You can get a lost or uncanny version of a pre-existing weapon, which has the same base damage, but has different gem slots for you to customize and maximize your damage with. Some of the higher tiered curse gems are interesting because you gain tremendous offensive power, but at the cost of something else. You'll also have the chance to acquire blood rocks from the Chalice Dungeons, which will give you the ability to enchant your weapon to plus 10. There's only one blood rock in the story portion that I know of, so unless you're playing New Game Plus, Chalice Dungeons will be the place for you to get additional blood rocks. Chalice Dungeons are a unique experience that I would say everyone has to try. If you happen to have skipped them and are higher level, the first few will be cakewalks, but you'll need to do them in order to get higher level chalices. Also, in order to get the Chalice Dungeons with more depth and difficulty, you'll have to defeat side bosses in the story mode, including Amidala, for the Aelin Lauren Chalice, and Abrita, the daughter of the Cosmos, for the Iz Chalice. However, I implore you to try to get to the final Thumerian Dungeon, as it has, in my opinion, one of the most interesting boss fights in the game. Also, it's pretty creepy. Stay tuned to GameSpot.com for more Bloodborne coverage.